hello everyone and welcome back in this video we're going to be looking at the graph editor we're going to be studying the graph editor and the graph editor is one of the most important tools in after effects and we use the graph editor as animators very often because each and every keyframe you create kind of needs editing um, to look like what you want it to look or to look like what you actually intend it to look and that brings us to the graph editor because we use the graph editor to practically edit our keyframes we use them to um to modify our speed to create very nice looking animations and once you can master the graph editor i'm telling you your animations will look very sweet and very professional so there are basically two types of graph editors in after effects we have the speed graph and we have the value graph the speed graph um, it gives us the ability to modify our speed or to edit our speed our animation speed while the value graph gives us the ability to edit um, the position value and also the time so that's basically it um, for our graph editors now I want us to create a little animation here so let's go to our position I'm hitting P for that so let's create a keyframe here and after one second um, I want to move to move our object to the right so this is the little animation we have so we're just going to easy ease our keyframes in order to come to the graph editor we just have to click on this icon here which says graph editor now if you click on this icon you're going to see something like this now this is the value graph we are looking at this is the value graph in order to go to the speed graph all you need to do is right click and edit speed graph now you see this is the speed graph and edit value graph and this is the value graph now as you can see for the value graph it gives us two two values we have the position and time while um the speed graph gives us the speed uh, value so we have the ability to edit the speed value so anything we do on the speed graph reflects on our composition okay so you can just um, select the the busier handles here and any modifications you do it modif it 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 affects our speed as you can see um, now our animation starts very slow gets very fast here and then um, slows down um, at the end so there are some of the things we can do with our speed speed graph okay so I'm just going to create this other graph so you can see now our animation starts very little uh, or starts very slow and then becomes very fast at this point and then slows down towards the end now we, are, we can also have something like this where our animation will start very slow and then just come to you an immediate uh, stop okay so these are some of what we can do with our speed graph so we can have something like this where it starts very slow gets very fast at the middle and then yeah so you see so some of the things we can do with our speed graph So you can see what we have now. Starts it starts uh, fast, slows down at the middle, then
to when we come to open tool we can add keyframes using our pen tool so we can add keyframes you see we can add keyframes using our pen tool you can see the effect it gives us so you can see how how flexible this the speed graph is gives us a lot of controls a lot of things we can play with so you can see the things we are achieving with our speed graph okay so that's it for our speed graph so right now i'm just going to make our keyframes easy ease again easy ease okay and i'm going to select our keyframes and go back to the graph editor so instead of the speed graph now we are going to right click and then go to edit value graph now we see that um, this is the value graph we have <coughs> so this is our value graph you can see that um, we have two values okay and you see that as we move our object on our composition our value graph also moves because it reads the value of our position so as as we move the the position on the um, on the composition our value graph also moves but when you come to speed graph and move your your object the the graph does not move okay so that's one of the thing you should note <coughs> so i'm going to come to the value graph now in order to um to edit our value graph we can just come into the position and then hit separate dimensions so it gives us two different dimensions to work with so we have the x position separately and we have the y position separately you can see that we can now do some modifications you can see the value graph gives us more flexibility and it's a little cooler than the speed graph this is one way we can achieve this uh, with the value graph so let's have an s curve so you can see that it starts very little slows um gets faster at the middle here and then slows down so these are some of the things we can achieve with our value graph. Yeah, you can see this. I like this. So you can do a lot of co cool things, cool animations with our speed and value graphs so as you can see we have two um, we have four keyframes all in total two keyframes on our exposition and two keyframes on our value position we also have this um parent tool which enables us to parent our position our separate positions to whatever object we want to parent it to okay see that we can also add keyframes here also add keyframes here to make to make things a little cooler
So these are just some of the things we can achieve with our speed and value graphs. So I'm going to just um, um, now I just created a new composition and we're going to create something a bit cooler with our value graph. So we have our cube here, like in the previous composition. And what I want to just do is I want to make our cube jump. So I'm going to um, create a keyframe on the position. So I'm going to create a keyframe here. Then after this time, I want to bring our cube to this point. Okay. So our cube is going to move from point A to point B. So we can tell how boring the animation is looking right now. Like we are going to add our, <coughs> our easy ease. So easy ease. This is what we have so far. I'm going to go to the graph editor and of course on the value graph, I'm going to right click and separate dimensions. Now we have our two dimensions. We have the Y axis and the x axis that's the y position and the and the x position so let's go to the x position and let's just come and take the the pen tool here and create something like this okay create something like this and also create something like this and create something like this So with this, we've actually created the jump effect. We've created the jump effect by simply adding keyframes on our Y axis. I'm going to make our jump a little bit uh, a little bit more intense. So I'm going to make the first jump more most intense and then the second one and and then for the second one we'll have a reduce in intensity and so also the third one. So let's see how it's going to look like. So you see. This is what we've got so i don't like the way it just um ends very very um suddenly i'm going to add another one to add another one too i'm going to add another one so this is what we have so far
I think we'll stop here. This is what we have with just editing a value graph. So the value graph is very handy when editing or when making jumps. Okay. On the next video, I'm going to take you through the steps I will use to achieve of the squash and stretch on the jumping ball. So that will be our next class work. Hope to see you there. Bye. Hey, so that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. We post new videos every week covering topics in the fields of graphic design and illustration, motion graphics and video, branding and more. If you want to support us and get access to exclusive benefits such as the project files we use in our classes, live chat with us, shoutouts and more, consider becoming a patron on Patreon. You can join for as little as three dollars a month and the link to our patreon page is in the description below and if you want to take your learning to the next level you can check out the complete course of which this episode is a part of and in the complete course you get access to more than 10 hours of video lessons project files and resources class exercises a q a section a certificate of completion and more you can get the course for a special discount by using the link in the description below thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video Bye for now.